This movie will be about installing the transparent GNOME terminal, but first off, let's get rid of some elements here that are bugging me. The Dropbox will pop up until you put in your, your, L, your name. If you never want to use Dropbox, then it's a good thing. You go to the config file, which is here, open it, and then come go to control find probably best Dropbox, voila, exec, execute, execute. So get rid of that line by using a hashtag. That's one thing. Another thing that's bugging me is this Opera, which is not, I mean, not starting up on any of my SSDs, but in the virtual machine, why I know it starts up. So I'm gonna show you how to uninstall this Opera for the time being. And we go to a virtual, another workspace, number four. And then we're going to the terminal and then say sudo pacman minus R. There's also a possibility to do RS. Let's try it and see what happens. But first analyze them. So it's only going to install, uh, remove this one. So that's just fine. That's what I wanted anyway. So the S is a bit uh, tricky. You should check uh, if that's the best thing to do for you. So go and check the wiki of Pac-Man, how that works. So Opera is gone. Next time I reboot, it won't show up on my this won't show up, so I can delete it. Yes, and Opera won't show up, so I can delete it. I just want Firefox in one. Sublime text here, nothing actually here. And eight on my file manager, and on 10 my music. That's the way I organized everything. And now to the project at hand. We go to the installation, we want a terminal, so Windows 4. This is the GNOME terminal, but it's not transparent neither can it be transparent we cannot change it in the preferences it cannot not it's not possible don't have to check it's not possible so we install the gnome terminal transparency version one we go do it this via this way gnome voila anyway, so it's going to uninstall the one i have now the one that's open on uh, workspace four and it's going to install another one And yes, there are other terminals available. If this one, this installation does not succeed, you do not have any terminals. Yes, there are other. Now well, let's have a look, we have to wait anyway. Term, voila, there's Terminator as a fallback. And you have external ways and I3 sensible terminal. So no problem there. Maybe best thing to pause it a bit right we got the message that gnome terminal transparency has been installed you remember what i told you about the scripts the scripts install a package and then recheck is it installed so if it's really it says it has been installed then it is installed it's not text with echo or anything okay well let's see so we're gonna get rid of this one we are gonna get rid of this one and what we now have, if we press Windows Enter, is hopefully the GNOME terminal, which is, let's go and get rid of this one, and which is the one that's transparent, and you can see it here. Transparent background, and that's the way I like it, to be able to see enough, and still see the wallpaper. So, that is GNOME terminal, which is um, transparent. And maybe I can show you as well what I do for the rest. So I've done already one thing, which is the preferences. Get rid of the menu bar. It is, I hate it when this is up there. So when I press enter now, it's like this. Then I go to make it a little bit bigger, which is here, custom font. It's small. People want to read what I write on the, in the movies, in the, the videos. And for the rest, I change this, no scroll bar, and I want to scroll all the way, and that's it. So next time, everything is the way I want it. And let's do a little screen fetch. Et voila. That concludes the end of the movie.